Hey, welcome to Socialism for All. This file is being recorded for the July 2023 edition of Socialism for All, and it's an audiobook of Continental Socialism by Frederick Engels from 1844. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe, and consider supporting on Patreon at patreon.com slash socialism for all. There's a link to Patreon in the video description. So this piece was first written in September 1844 and first published in The New Moral World, number 15, October 5, 1844. Let's begin. Continental socialism seems to deserve and to obtain a considerable portion of public attention at present. I forward you a few extracts from a letter addressed to me from Barman in Prussia by a former contributor to The New Moral World. Quote, in Paris, on my way home, I visited a communist club of the mystic school. I was introduced by a Russian who speaks French and German perfectly, and who very cleverly opposed Feuerbach's reasoning to them. They mean just as much by the term God as the ham common folks by love spirit. They, however, declared this a secondary question, and to all practical intents agreed with us, and said, in the end, atheism is your religion. Religion in French means conviction feeling, not worship. They affirmed that the noise and hubbub of the bourgeois or middle class against England is all nonsense, and they were very anxious to convince us that they had not the slightest national prejudice, that the working men of France care nothing about Morocco, but know that the ouvriers, workers of all countries, are allies, having the same interests. Comment, remember that in this context, the bourgeoisie were considered the middle class, as the aristocracy was the upper class. Continuing, the French middle class are quite as egotistical, as avaricious, and quite as insupportable in society as the English, but the French ouvriers are fine fellows. We have made much progress among the Russians at Paris. There are three or four noblemen and proprietors of serfs now at Paris who are radical communists and atheists. We have in Paris a German communist newspaper, the Forwarts, published twice a week. In Belgium, there is an active communist agitation going on, and a paper, the Debat Social, published at Brussels. In Paris, there are about half a dozen communist papers. Socialiste, Socialitaire are very fashionable names in France, and Louis Philippe, the arch-bourgeois, supports the démocratie pacifique with money and protection. The religious exterior of the French socialists is mostly hypocritical. The people are thoroughly irreligious, and the first victims of the next revolution will be the Parsons. The Cologne folks have made enormous progress. When we assembled in a public house, we filled a good room with our company, mostly lawyers, medical men, artists, etc., also three or four lieutenants in the artillery, one of whom is a very clever fellow. In Dusseldorf, we have a few men, amongst them a very talented poet. In Elberfeld, about half a dozen of my friends and some others are communists. In fact, there is scarcely a town in northern Germany where we have not some radical anti-proprietarians and atheists. Edgar Bauer of Berlin has just been sentenced to three years imprisonment for his last book. Unquote. Thinking the above facts would be interesting to your readers, I forward them for insertion in your paper.